stem cells are cells which have the potential to multiply which means if I have one stem cell I can make a million stem cells out of it they also have the potential to convert so if I take a stem cell and put in the brain they become brain cells if you put in the muscle they become muscle cells so stem cells have the potential to convert into different parts of the body so in autism where the damage is in the brain we are able to go and put the stem cells into the brain and so they help in repairing brain damage so stem cells act in three ways they repair they replace they regenerate and through this process as the brain functioning becomes normal they ease the symptoms that our children suffer there are different types of stem cells <clears throat> you can get stem cells from the embryo these are called embryonic stem cells these stem cells have a lot of ethical issues about them and they have potential medical problems so we do not use embryonic stem cells i want to repeat that at neurogen we do not use embryonic stem cells the second type of stem cells which you get you get from the umbilical cord the umbilical cord is the cord that connects the mother and the baby <coughs> so if the umbilical cord has been preserved at birth it is possible to use those cells uh, for the children but for many children the umbilical cord has not been preserved so there are other stem cells in the child itself these are called adult stem cells and we take the stem cells from the child itself Medically, these are called autologous, that means from the same patient. Now, in our body, in the bone, there is an excess amount of stem cells. There are millions of stem cells inside the bone in a liquid that is called bone marrow. What is bone marrow? Bone marrow is the place where our body's blood is produced. And to produce blood, the body needs stem cells. So, the bone marrow is rich with stem cells. Now, if we go into the bone marrow and take the bone marrow out, we are able to separate the stem cells which we can then use for treatment. That is the most wonderful thing about stem cell therapy that there is no surgery involved. There is no incision. There is not a single stitch also. There is not a single cut. The entire procedure is done through two simple injections. With one needle we put into the bone and we take out bone marrow. And with the other, we inject into the back and into the fluid in the back called CSF. So the entire treatment has only two injections. I repeat, one to take out and with one we put back. It's not painful at all. During the treatment, what we do is we give sedation to the child. So the child is actually sleeping. And then we give local anesthesia in the area around where we are going to inject. So the child feels no pain whatsoever, either during the procedure or even after the procedure. Now, one of the most wonderful things about adult stem cell therapy is that it's got no major or irreversible neurological complications, reactions or any other side effect or risk. Because what we are doing, with one needle we put into the bone and we take out bone marrow, there can be no risk in that because it's just a needle going into bone. With the other needle, we put into the back a very thin, very fine needle into the fluid. There's no risk whatsoever. And we are using the, the child's own cells. We are taking from an area where there is extra and putting it in an area where there is less. So we are using the same cells. There's no nothing artificial. There's nothing unnatural. There's nothing from the outside. There's no chemical, no agent, no drug. What we are doing is taking cells from the child from one area and putting it in another through two needle pricks so it's completely safe and you have my personal assurance on that we have done now over 5000 patients of stem cell therapy and we've not had any major irreversible neurological complication or deterioration so you can be completely rest assured that this is a completely safe treatment